Freeze and Carlin Enten and Chuzal. I like a novelty song, and that's one of my favourites. Look it up, and you'll be amazed what could be done in 1972 with a simple tape loop backing and lyrics that you can't understand. Lyrics that no one can understand because they are literally nonsense. But another novelty song, and you will be amazed, is They're Coming to Take Me Away, Ha Ha, by Napoleon Fourteenth, who passed away on the 10th of March 2023 at the age of 84. Here's a short clip. I'll put links to the whole thing in the description. And of course there's Spotify and all the usual outlets. Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow and then the days got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. Crazy, isn't it? All it is is simple speech, snare drum, kick drum, tambourine and some layered claps. Claps layered with stamps, perhaps? But remember, they didn't have sampling then. Hey, they didn't even have cell phones then. Oh yes, there's a siren as well later on. And why not? Napoleon the Fourteenth, real name Jerry Samuels, was a songwriter, engineer and producer working at Associated Recording Studios in New York. As a songwriter, he wrote hits for the likes of Neil Diamond, Johnny Ray, Doris Day, all the way up to Sammy Davis Jr. Now he's good. So, listen to this from 1966. They're coming to take me away, ha ha, they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha, to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time, and I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats, and they're coming to take me away, ha ha! Now, figure out how to replicate that effect in your door. The speech rises in pitch while both the track and speech stay the same speed. Okay, I'll have a go. <laughs> They're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, he he, ha ha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. And they're coming to take me away, ha ha. Well, it's not a million miles away. Not as good as the old fashioned studio techniques, though. It's Sound Toy's Little Altar Boy, if you're interested. <laughs> so, how was it done in the original? Well, according to that famous Oracle Wikipedia, the tape machine was driven from an oscillator. Well, this wouldn't work by itself, and I don't think Wikipedia has the full story on this. In these olden days, electric motors were normally synchronous, meaning that their speed is controlled by the mains frequency, which in the USA is 60 Hz. So, if you have a variable frequency oscillator, feed it through an amplifier powerful enough to drive the tape recorder, then you can record at any speed you like, within reason. The more you slow it down on record, the more the pitch rises on playback. Well, that's my interpretation. If anyone has any real-world experience of this technique from the actual olden days, please let us all know in the comments how it was done. Anyway, I could ask a question. Would you want to do this in your door for your own amazing novelty song? <laughs> of course, this is a trick you can only do once. Not once per album, once in your career and probably only once per decade by any artist. Looking at you, Taylor Swift, fancy a go. <laughs> so would anyone buy a record like this in 1966? In which year, by the way, England won the World Cup? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this song reached number three in Billboard, number one on Cashbox in the USA, number two in Canada, and number four in the UK. I think most of us would like to have a success like that. As I said, they're coming to take me away, ha ha, was far from Jerry Samuel's only success, and I think we can congratulate him on a career and a life well lived. By the way, the cause of all the misery in the song was a dog. <laughs> Links in the description. See you soon.